In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the solution to question 3A on the May 2012 CSEC mathematics paper. And this is a typical algebra sets question. Here it states, in a survey of 36 students, it was found that 30 played tennis, X play volleyball only, 9X played both tennis and volleyball, 4 played neither tennis nor volleyball. Here we have some additional information. Given that the universal set, that's what the U here means, is equal to the students in the survey. And V represents the students who played volleyball. And T represents the students who played tennis. Here they're asking us to copy and complete the Venn diagram below to show the number of students in the subsets marked Y and Z. Here, if you notice, I have circled those two letters, uh, Y and Z. So over here, across here in my right hand column now, I have already copied and complete my diagram. Copy the diagram rather, I have not completed as yet. So this is how it should look after you have drawn it up with your ruler and compasses, okay? Now, let's just fill in the information uh, quickly. Let me just change this up a bit. Now, my friends, if you notice here, uh, they have given us, let's just, let's just, uh, rewrite the information that they gave us here. They gave us X that all the students, the subset, uh, for volleyball is X as it's there. So let's just, let's just replace those quick. Let's just rewrite those quickly. So I would have an X there for volleyball only. And this is very important. And as I go through, I would advise you to pay special attention to this critical piece of information up here because that's what we're going to be using to, uh, complete the diagram. Now, let's move on. Here, my friends, uh, if you notice, we have a 9x in our intersection, so we can just simply go ahead and rewrite that 9x there in our intersection. Now, for the value for y, uh, if you notice, the subset that well, the subset T that represents the students who play tennis, that's the Y there. So we're just going to go back to the initial information here that I have underlined and look for the number of students who played tennis. And it states, it's, it's stated here, 30 played tennis. So we're just going to write that there. Uh, so in tennis, we have 30, we have a 30 there. Now, and if you notice outside, we would have our Z there and it's stated here in the initial information again that four played neither tennis nor nor volleyball so i'm just going to replace that z outside to, to show that this is a four persons who did not participate in the activities all right so i hope that was useful now Initially, it stated that in the survey, there was a total of 36 students. So if you notice at the top here where I have my U, um, that's my universal set. I can simply just put that figure there to represent the total number of students who participated. Okay. So, so my friends, let's just move on quickly. This is how your diagram should look after it's completed. And that's an easy two marks. Now, here in part 2A, they're asking us now to write an expression in X to represent the total number of students in the survey. So now we're going to write an expression and I'm, I'm just going to do that over here since I have a little bit of space here. So let me change the color quickly. So for part two, part two A, they're asking us to write that expression. Now note quickly for me, my friends, that an expression does not have an equal sign. Okay. So when writing an expression, you should not have an equal sign. That's a mistake that a lot of students make. Now, uh, this is a little bit technical. I'm going to show you the trick how you go around uh, deriving or coming up with your expression. If you notice, it stated initially that X played volleyball only and they have it in bold here, that only, okay? So basically what they're saying, um, only this portion, and I'm just going to simply shade it in so that it can be a bit easier for you to recognize that this portion here, not the entire circle here, okay, my friends? Uh, that the subset here that represents volleyball, not this entire circle here, uh, the X is being represented. It is only, since they have stated only, it is only the portion outside of the intersection, or it is this part here that the, that is not a part of the intersection that played volleyball only. Okay. Now, here now we have nine X students who played both sports, both volleyball and tennis. All right. Now, to come up with the expression now, we are going to have to uh, find an expression that represents the 
the number of students who play tennis only also if you notice for the number of students who play tennis they only gave us for the number of students who play tennis they only gave us the figure 30 now that 30 would include everything inside the circle because if you notice they did not specify or they did or they did not qualify by saying only so to get that only over here and let me just put it in another color here to get this portion here my friends that i'm going to shade in blue this portion here as i've shaded in in green over there the only i'm now going to have to subtract the intersection from this 30 so i am going to simply have to say 30 minus the 9x this now would represent the only this portion over here okay guys hope that was useful so let's just quickly get into it now in writing the expression now i am going to take this portion here this portion here in green which represents my x which my x represents and then i'm going to take the intersection inside there so i'm going to add the intersection to that which is my 9x and then i'm going to take the the portion that is shaded over here which i've stated and that is 30 plus 30 minus the 9x which is the intersection to get the only the amount of students who only played uh tennis and after i've done that now i must now add the four that is outside who did not participate in the survey okay guys so this is simply now from here in we're just going to simplify our expression all right so here i have an x but if you notice i have a positive 9x here and i have a negative 9x so obviously 9x minus 9x that would leave us with nothing so that cancel out um now i have an x there so i'm going to take down my x and i i have a 30 there and a 4 so 30 plus 4 that would give me a positive 34 okay and that would be my answer x plus 34 now as i've said before if you notice this does not have an equal sign and that's what it means by an expression an expression does not carry an equal sign now to answer part two let's just pull this up quickly and get into that oops let me just stop it right there okay now for part two my friends um they are they're asking us now to write an equation in x to represent the total number of students in the survey and hence solve for x so we're going to find the value of x now and that's a two marks a pretty two marks there so this is part b so let me just make note of that part b states that now if you notice we had already come up with an expression that represented the total number of, of persons or students participated in the survey so simply i can just state that final expression here x plus 34 and i'm just simply an equation now my friends has an equal sign in it so i'm just going to equal that now the expression that represents the total number of students in the survey to the actual number and if you notice i, I wrote this here initially the universal set there were 36 students who participated a total of 36 and it, it, it was stated here if you notice up here uh, 3a where they're saying in a survey of 36 students it was found that so that's the total number of persons i'm working with my 36 now simply i'm going to just transpose and solve for x if you notice 34 is being added so i must do the opposite of addition which is subtraction so simply i'm going to say x plus 34 minus 34 is equal to 36 minus 34 remember what you do to one side of your equation you must do it to the other side of your equation so a positive 34 will cancel out with a negative so i'm left with x must be equal to 36 minus 34 that will leave us with a 2 so that's pretty much our answer x is equal to 2 hope you found this useful feel free to leave a comment or ask a question if you're still not sure and we'll get back to you as soon as possible Bye bye